Now that we have uh, Active Directory certificate services installed, the next step is to start working with certificate templates. So the certificate templates, um, we set up a certificate template and then we make it available and then those are the certificates that people can request from our CA. So let's go to Tools, Certification Authority. Let's take a look at this a little bit. Blow this up here. So here's our current CA. And here I have my certificate templates. And you'll see a handful of these already set up. Now these are ready, and this is default, uh, ready to be issued. And if you open one of them up, let's open up a basic EFS, there's really not a whole lot you can do with it. Once a template is in place, it's pretty much set, and then people will request based off of that template. So we can right click on certificate templates and go to new certificate template to issue. And this shows us all of the other templates that are available that we haven't actually used yet. So, or that we haven't enabled yet. So we would click on, let's say the code signing certificate and hit okay. And then the code signing certificate now becomes available for people to use as well. And here, see the name of it, the purpose of it. The tickets can only be used for the purpose for which they were uh, issued. Now, if I, again, I can't do much with this certificate template other than, well, at this point, I can't do much with it other than make it available. If I want to manipulate my certificate templates, I right click on certificate templates and click manage. And this takes me to my certificate template console. And here are all of the templates that are available. Now, let's take a look at our basic EFS certificate again. And from our basic EFS certificate, we have template display name, valid period, renewal period, request handling, the subject name, extensions. But again, notice all of this stuff is blocked out. It's not much that we can do with it. Now, if we want to manipulate these certificates, then what we have to do is duplicate the template and then my changes to the duplicate. So I'm gonna right click on basic EFS. I'm gonna say duplicate template. Now, here's where we can set our compatibility settings. So I wanna set this for a certification authority of Windows Server 2016. So, all right, that's gonna make a couple of changes to it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my certificate receipts, I want to be Windows 10 or Windows Server 2016. And that's going to give me a bunch of other options for my uh, certificate. And hit OK. All right. On my general tab, let's set a name for it. Let's call this Windows 10 EFS. That makes more sense. Windows 10 EFS. And then valid period, the renewal period, do I want this published in Active Directory? Um, do not automatically re-enroll if a duplicate exists. We can set up request handling. So what is the purpose of this? Um, we allow it to be re-exported. Will we renew it with the same key uh, for automatic renewal? So all kinds of options here for how we want the certificate to function, including our cryptography, our key attestation, are we superseding other templates with it, what's the subject of it. So once we get all of our settings set, and things you're probably going to deal with most often are going to be compatibility. You'll deal with general because you want to set the name to make it something other than copy of. Uh, you may deal with cryptography, depending on what level of cryptography you're going to worry about. So minimum key length, algorithms, uh, which provider should we use? So a lot of different options here, and you're going to set what's going to work best for your organization. Now, if you're not if you're not bound by specific regulations, normally using default options is going to be pretty good. Once you've got everything done with it, and um, everything done, got it the way you want it, apply and OK. And now you can come into your Windows 10. And again, notice that some things are set. But now we've got a little bit more options on what we can do with it. Now that we've created is no longer a default template. Now we can come in and modify it as needed. OK, so I'm going to close my certificate console. It's not here as an available certificate yet. So for that, I have to right click on Certificate Templates, go to New, Certificate Template Issue, and I should be able to find my Windows 10 EFS certificate. 
and hit OK. And now I have created a new template, set the options on it, made it available to be issued. Okay, so that should give you an idea of how we can work with certificate templates in ADCS.